What's going on everybody? Welcome to the 13th Monte Carlo and Python tutorial video. In the last video we set up this Day Allen Bear strategy. Uh, we found that we were having quite a bit of loss, but that's most likely because uh, we're not actually playing 50-50 odds here. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and make a new roll dice function. And this one will uh, be real 50-50 odds. So let's just copy this, come down here, paste. Uh, get rid of this, and now instead, if roll is less than or equal to 50, great. And then if roll is if roll is greater than or equal to 51, then you win. So now we have real 50/50 odds. So first of all, let us test this strategy one last. Ah, you bastard. If okay, and let's. Oh my. Goodness, we're printing everything out. Okay, let me move that over there while I shut up everything else. Print, 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 and print value. And so what we'll do then is instead of doing, let's do 1,000 wagers, and we'll go back to wager size of 100. Still having me find that our, our users are ending. Let's see. For 10, for 100. It appears to me that our math, math is all correct. So uh, we'll continue on. <laughs> and uh, we'll keep doing what I wanted to get us uh, to anyway. So maybe we'll find uh, what's wrong later, if anything is even wrong. So now the odds are 50-50. Uh, let us go ahead and uh, edit some stuff up here at least. Sample size, we'll, I guess we can leave that at 1,000. Starting funds, 10,000 wager size. We'll put the starting funds to 100,000. Wager size is 100. Wager count is 1,000. Uh, just for kicks. Okay, at least somebody finally made some money. <laughs> Let's try again. And we've got losers, but then we've got some winners. Um, okay, so that makes me a little happier. Clearly, 100 was a little bit too large. Um, I believe the number is if you were going to bet um, one dollar each time, you really would need to start with like 1.6 million dollars to like for sure not get yourself screwed. Uh, so just keep that in mind. So obviously, with this strategy, you do need to. You have to be able to be in it for the long haul. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, continuing on. Now that we've done this, we want to know on a grand scale how good is the Day Allen Bear strategy, really. So, the first thing we want to do is we're going to come down to this Day Allen Bear strategy and we want to have. Um, we want to have another variable. So, the Day Allen Bear strategy, we're going to have uh, global. I want to use return, but I know I can't. Um, <laughs> I want to use like return. Uh, ROI isn't the right word because it's not a return on investment. I want to know like what is our return. I guess we could say global ret for <laughs> for return, and then all the way down here where we printed out value, uh, we'll just say ret plus equals value. And so now what we want to do is we'll keep DA and this, we'll get rid of this, and we'll take this, and let's traverse all the way down to where we have this. And we'll paste that right there. And don't forget ret. So ret equals 0, 0.0. Save where we are. So now what I want to do is have a sample a large amount of this day Allen Bear strategy. Because as I said before, profit and bust isn't really the most uh, telling. Because we want to know, obviously if people don't profit, we want to know how badly do they lose. And then of the people who profit, how good do they profit? Because if the profit is good enough, then it's still a good enough uh, gamble to take, right? So if you stand to lose 10,000, but you stand to gain 500,000, uh, and the odds are 50-50, then you might as well play a few times, and you'll do well. So with that, uh, we'll say DA profits, DA bust, and we also needed, we'll do a uh, duh samp 
size, and this is how many, um, ver you know, how many people running this Dan Allen Bear strategy do we want? We'll start with a hundred thousand. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just delete all of this, and really we'll just get rid of everything. Boom. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say counter equals one while counter is less than or equal to the the sample size. What do we want to do? Well, we're gonna run day Allen Bear. That's for sure. And we're also gonna go counter plus equals one. Now at the end of it, if we've done everything correct, we're gonna say print uh, total invested. And total invested is gonna be the SAMP size times starting funds. So the SAMP size, how many people, times how many funds they start with, and that gives you how much total money was invested. Then we're gonna say print um, total return, return, uh, ret, with a capital R. Now we wanna know what's the difference. So print difference, or actually, now we can use our ROI. <laughs> and that's going to be ret minus uh, this. So copy, paste. And don't really care much about the bust rate and all that, but we'll, we'll do it anyway. Bust rate is <clears throat> DA underscore busts divided by the sample size tons 100.00. And I'm just going to copy this, and we'll remember to edit our variable in a second. But print profit rate and DA profits. Okay, cool. So actually, to start, let's just do a small sample of 100 just to run everything and see if we're... Oh, my goodness. We don't want to print. Uh, let me shut up the printing of value here. <clears throat> Print value. Okay, but I'll still show you guys the uh, the outcome here. So we do see that a few people did go broke, <laughs> clearly. Um, but scrolling down, we can see on a long-term scale we had this much invested. So what is this? Looks like 10 million invested. From 10 million, a profit of 244,000 is returned. Not bad. Um, bust rate was 19, and a profit uh, percent was 68. So uh, that's the outcome there. Uh, not a bad outcome, actually. Uh, I don't think that's a representative amount, though, to be quite honest. So let's run a larger amount now that we're confident and processing time isn't going to take 14 years. Let's do 100,000. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll do 100,000. This might take a really long time. Hopefully I'm not, I don't think I'm printing anything until the end now, so... Put it here. I'll pause while this is running. That way, not everybody has to do this. If you want, feel free to do it and pause the video as well until you're done. All right, <clears throat> here we go with a. This was a hundred thousand sample size. As we can see, with a hundred thousand sample size, we actually had a loss. Um, not a large loss. That's a big number, but not on the scale of this number. Um, but we did actually incur a loss. So. Um, there are a couple reasons why that could be. First of all, the wager size is still a little bit too big for the starting funds. Um, <clears throat> and then wager count, there's not necessarily a reason. We just have to say stop at some point for a wager count. Um, but it might be beneficial to allow up to you know 10,000 wagers, something like that. Um, and then, uh, let's say with 100... Kind of want to leave that, and we'll let the wagers go. Well, I say we let the wagers go all the way to 100,000, really. But I do think our wager size is too big for that. But that's okay. Um, so we'll do that, and now we'll come down here, and instead of 100,000, it's not really a large sample size. We'll do a sample size of a million. And again, I'll run this. The previous test took quite a while, so I expect this will take... Probably like, I don't even know, probably an hour. <laughs> oh, honesty. That's a big, big one. So anyway, I'll run this and I'll just pause it while I run it. 
Uh, and after that, I'll just show the image of it and say my, my goodbyes. So anyways, that's going to conclude this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.